What's up guys? In this video, uh, I want to talk about how I lost $2,300, $2,300 uh, on Chaincoin. And actually, you know what? I shouldn't say I've lost it. I'm down $2,300. I should reword it because uh, I haven't actually lost anything yet because uh, I'm still holding on to the coins. I've still got my chain coins. Uh, here's my Cryptopia account. Uh, it is sitting at 580 chain coins, uh, which comes out to, if you look down here, uh, estimated BTC is almost one tenth of a Bitcoin. Uh, and I've actually put about, I'd say about 2,700 into this. Uh, and if you do the math, uh, look at the number of BTC, you go to BTC to USD calculator, and you put in the Bitcoin amount right there, and you see at the moment that is worth $297 uh, dollars worth of Bitcoin. And like I said, I put in $2,700. Uh, well, actually, I guess now I'm not down $2,300, I'm down $2,400 now. A little bit ago when I had looked at it, uh, when the price of chain coin is up to like 60 cents, I think it's... Uh, it's pretty much like I've lost 2300 So yeah, I haven't lost anything yet. I'm still holding on to the coins. And pretty much at this point, because I'm down so much, uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to sell these. Because if I lost another 300 400 or whatever it is, like the potential to make my money back, I would rather like go for that than lose the last little bit that I have. Uh, honestly, like obviously I don't want to lose that, but that's, what, that's pretty much my plan right now is to sit on it and hold them and hopefully it'll go back up. And I can get out. And I know a lot of people. That if, if you if you know about Chaincoin, there there's a big movement with it. Now there's another YouTuber that does it. Uh, High on coins is YouTube channel. And it, it, like it was a cool idea. Like I got into it super early on. Actually, let's go to the <clears throat> the cryptocurrency market capitalizations, the uh, coin market cap, <clears throat> and we will look at the prices. So I'm gonna basically give you a rundown of how it all went. Uh, look at this. It started out at eight cents. Uh, and then it went up to 11, 12, 30, 50 cents, which right around this point is when I started getting in. I started watching when it was down here. I wish I would have because I would probably actually have made money at this point right now, uh, even still with the current prices had. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I bought in, I think it was around 47 cents the first time. Uh, so somewhere about right in here, right, about right there. Uh, actually, it wasn't on July 8th. It was a little bit later. Uh, I think it was on like two days later. I think, yeah, I think it was probably about the 10th that I bought in. So it'd been going on for a few days or whatever. They had been starting the chain coin movement. And the whole movement with chain coin is the idea was everybody was going to buy up the coins because there's only so many. Uh, there's like a low number of actual coins available. So if we buy up the market, uh, we own the coin, we control it, and we can kind of control the price somewhat uh, because we own most of the coins. If you control it and there's scarcity, then it makes it more valuable. Uh, that was the whole idea. See, so yeah, at 47 cents, I bought a little bit. Uh, I think I put maybe like 300 or something into it, 400. Uh, and then it went up to like 50, 60 cents. And then I bought a little bit more. I uh, ended up, I had about 700 bucks into it. And oh, I made, literally, I had the absolute worst timing possible. Now, the whole idea of this movement was to hold, like hodl. Uh, which maybe in another video I'll explain HODL and why it's called HODL instead of holding. Uh, or you can just Google it. But we were supposed to hold it. Like you weren't supposed to sell your coins because that's the whole, whole idea. If you if you sell them, you're, you're messing with the value. You're supposed to hold on to them and they'll stay at like the same value because nobody's selling their coins. Instead of like pumping it up and everybody dumping, uh, then we, we just hold them. But pumping is what happened. It got super pumped up. <clears throat> And I was like the whole time I was kind of skeptical. I was like, I just don't see this. Like we had a big group of people. It was a lot of people, but I was just like, I don't see our little group of people uh, pumping this coin up this much. It was going up so much. Like look at this chart. It started out at like 60, 70 cents. I think I actually even bought a little bit more at like 70, 67 cents. Either way, here's what happened. I made a stupid decision. The whole point of the, the group was to hold all. And I, this, I felt like this is just karma paying me back for not holding. But I actually did it with good intentions of the group. I seriously did. I was gonna, like you see all these little dips where I was going up and down and up and down. Um, it was going up and down a lot, like 50 cents to 80 cents to 90 cents and then back down to 40, up and down. So what I was gonna do, I had a thousand chain coins. I had enough for a master node. For 700 bucks I'd put in and uh, I would have had enough for a master node early on. I kept, I was trying to buy a master node early. I just didn't have enough uh, bitcoins or anything to buy it. And 
I ended up like getting some bitcoins from somebody and then I finally put it in there, got enough for a master node, never set up my master node because it was so confusing at the time to do it. I think now it's a little bit easier because there's better guides on it, but then set up a master node and I was like, all right, I, I tried to be smart. I was like, I'm going to dump these coins. It hit 89 cents. I'm going to show you where I dumped the coins. And I, I say dumping, but I wasn't dumping to like make a bunch of profit. I was literally going to dump. And then as soon as it went back down, I was going to buy right back in. And the whole idea was, oh, I'll have double the amount of coins and I can help support the whole group and the whole little movement uh, even more. I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. Uh, it was right. I can't actually get to the point. I could zoom in, but this, this thing on uh, coin market caps kind of annoying. There it was. There's where I sold. Literally right there. Do you see this spike right afterward? I sold at 89 cents. Being smart, I was like, all right, I'll sell at 89 cents. It'll drop. And then I'll, I'll buy right back in and I'll double up or at least at least get to like half a more, like 1,500 chain coins instead of 1,000. Ah, and then it went boom, boom, $1.40, $1.60. And I was like, oh yeah, it's probably gonna come back down. It's probably gonna come back down. Two dollars, two fifty. And this is after me telling a like a bunch of my friends that I've been talking to crypto and stuff. I was like, you guys should get in, you guys should get in. And if they'd have listened to me, they'd have made a bunch of money too. But I sold at the exact wrong time. That but that's <clears throat> that's the whole thing. That's the reason I want to make this video. I'm down twenty three hundred right now. I sold at the exact wrong time. I once I get to it, I I, I rebought at the wrong time again. I'll get onto that here in a minute. Uh, it was a learning experience. That's why I want to make this video because everything you do in cryptocurrency is not going to be the right move. It's not going to be the thing you should have done. It's it's a learning experience. You're never going to do the right thing. So, uh, yeah. And then, like I said, it kept going up and up. It hit three dollars, five dollars. Went all the way up to freaking six dollars. It's not showing it here, but I could have swore it hit seven bucks. Either way. It hit six eighty three is I think the highest I'm seeing right here six dollars and eighty three cents. So you guys understand how much money I would have made from this. I literally bought in at fifty cents most of my money, and then it went. I sold it at eighty nine cents, and then it went up to six almost seven bucks. Let's just say seven dollars. I I did the math for my seven hundred bucks that I put in at the time. If I wouldn't have sold, I would have been. I think right, I think it was like 6,900 I would have been at, like almost $7,000 off 700. Uh, and what, what was happening there is there was just a bunch of wells getting in. They heard about our movement and they seen all the activity on Chaincoin. They're like, all right, we're gonna pump this thing up. And honestly with our group and how it was all going, it's kind of hard to tell. Like when everybody's like, oh yeah, yeah, we're putting money into it, we're putting money into it. It's hard to tell when the price goes up which is a well or not plus i was like super new to crypto and like really learning about it and i'm kind of glad i did this because it was a good learning experience it's not to get into those pump and dumps not that this was a pump and dump but there were people pumping and dumping on it i'm sure it was some people in our group uh, i'm sure it was just some people outside of the group who were looking to make a quick buck that's completely fine though i mean they're allowed to do it it's it's an open market anybody can get in uh everybody doesn't have to agree to the hodl movement um but yeah, I, that's that's how I could have made seven thousand dollars off seven hundred, uh, and then obviously people dumped and dumped and dumped, and it went right back down. Then it got pumped up a little bit more, uh, and this is the point. Not right here. I did buy a little bit more, <laughs> around four dollars, because I was like, oh crap, this thing is gonna go back up again. Being the stupid me I was, uh, and then I think I don't remember exactly what point. I think it was around a dollar. 80 maybe two dollars and something right around this point i went all in on chain coin <sighs> that's that's when i put the rest of my money in i had 2700 dollars invested in it uh and yeah here we are <laughs> i was kind of like it kept going down and going down i was like all right i mean there are some spikes up and down so i was like maybe it'll it'll come back up i still have faith honestly that it'll come back up uh but it's it's kind of flatlined as you see but I think honestly at this point, like I said, I'm gonna just sit and hold on to my chain coins because I've already invested so much in it. I'm already down so much. If I lose another 300, oh wow, I mean, it would suck, like I said, but I have a potential to get my money back. And if I do get my money back, I'm probably getting out of chain coin uh, just because like, uh, it's it's too it's too like fickle for me. I don't I don't know. It's not. I I love the idea of the movement. I wish it could have worked and everything. But like I kind of just lost confidence in it. Uh, the hodl movement and stuff. Just because 
it's hurt. It's not that I've lost confidence in, in, in the group or anything. So if you're watching on the in the chain coin group, I still have confidence in everybody. I, I believe everybody was holding and stuff like that. It's just it's so hard to tell when other people outside of our group are pumping up the coin and controlling it. And yeah, it's freaking it's it's a roller coaster ride. Like look at that. You went up the hill and you went back down the hill and then up the hill and back down the hill. And now we're on the flat part where it looks like we're about to end the ride and get off, but. Who knows? It could shoot right back up again. Uh, so yeah, that you never know. You're like I, that's why I said earlier on. I was like, all right, I'm not, I haven't really lost anything. I'm just down uh, because it could come right back up. If it hits right back up here again, I'm I'm back up a ton of money. So that would be awesome. Uh, not that I think it'll get up that high again, but I I do see as, as long as like I don't know, maybe not because I feel like the movement has died out a little bit. But as long as like there's still some attention around Chaincoin, I still feel like. Uh, some wells could come in and start pumping it up again and try to make a bunch of money. And if that happens, I'm probably going to flip it on them. And as soon as it bumps up, I'm probably cashing out just so I can <clears throat> just so I can get my money back. But I do want to leave some money in chain coin, though. I do want to have some chain coins uh, just for the fact that it could go up. Because <clears throat> I think it is pretty cool to have like a bunch of altcoins that are super cheap uh, that you like have faith in or you think they could possibly go up. It's, if it's super cheap to get in, put a little bit of money in a bunch of them and if one of them spikes up, made a bunch of money uh, and that's kind of what happened here i just again got out at the exact wrong time it, look at that 89 like how many people get get that chance to for that to happen it was like a freaking three four thousand percent increase or something in the right like whatever money you you put in a dollar it turned into four thousand like that's that's how much of an increase it was i think am i doing the math right Anyway, you know what I mean. It was a freaking huge. It was a huge increase. I think I, I think I did the math wrong there, uh, but yeah, there you go. There's my chain coin experience. Uh, I saw a few people tweet me and like because there's been a lot of uh, like stuff going on in the community of people hating on this. Oh, it's a pumping up, blah blah. blah. Uh, everybody gets mad at uh, Zito Max high on coins, the guy who like started the movement. I'm not blaming him. I'm not mad at him at all. He's did videos and proved that he had all his coins and his wallet and like. He, he's proved that he was doing everything he said he was doing. Uh, it just sucks that the movement happened like that and it got pumped so high. But it was kind of cool though. It was like, it was so fun like when we first got into the chat and I was just watching everybody and I put my money into this and like everybody's talking. It's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And then we just see the price skyrocketing and going up and going up. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying a second ago, there's there like a few people that tweeted me and be like, oh, you promoted chain coin, trying to get people to buy and blah, blah, pump and dump. I didn't pump it up. I'm sitting on twenty three hundred dollars loss. Uh, and really, I mean, if you would have got in, I was talking about like when I was tweeting out about Chaincoin and stuff. I wasn't necessarily telling people to get in, but I was just like, if you want to make some money, this might be a good idea. Uh, like if they would have got in here, they would have made a ridiculous amount of profit, and they could have sold right here. Like you don't have to hold. You don't have to hold. Well, that's that was just part of the group, but everybody's not part of that group. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna quit rambling about this. Uh, I just wanted to do a, a video about Chaincoin, uh, talking about it. I still, I, I said I didn't have faith in Chaincoin, but I still do have faith in Chaincoin. Uh, it's just the master nodes and all that now. They like, they don't really pay anything. A master node is like, if you don't know what I'm, what I'm talking about, if I'm talking gibberish. A master node is where, at least with Chaincoin, you could have one thousand coins, and you could run a master node. And basically, what that's doing is just like mining. It's helping the network uh, process transactions and you get coins every day and those coins are obviously worth money because they're they're chain coins or whatever and when the value goes up those chain coins go up uh, and yeah like the more the value of chain coin goes up the more money you're making from the master node at the point it's at though you're not really even going to make any money uh, hardly on a master node uh, unless the price of chain coin goes up uh, just because it's so low it's like literally like 50 60 cents or something like that uh, every few days or something see so yeah, anyway i feel like i'm rambling on now but that's my chain coin story uh hopefully the pr the price bumps back up so that way i can i can at least dump some of the coins and get some of the money i put back into it back uh but again i do want to hold on some chain coins because I, I do have some faith in it i feel like it could shoot up again uh, at some point just because of all the attention on it just because of the drama and everything around it drama even though there's a lot of bad press with it uh, bad press is a good press and if people are talking about it that means people are watching it so yeah, still think Chaincoin could be uh, something to keep an eye on if you're wanting to look for some altcoins. I just wouldn't, I'm mean, actually, right now, if you do want to get in, now isn't a very bad time to get in because of the price is so cheap. Uh, if if you do 
have a feeling that it's going to do this stuff again. But right now, it's looking pretty pretty flatline, but there's no telling. There's no telling who could get in at what time. You never know. You can never predict the market. That's, that's the thing with crypto. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Uh, hopefully, I didn't ramble on too long about this, even though I know I did. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you're part of the Chaincoin group, leave some comments down below. I'm, I feel like some people will probably get mad at me about this because I'm saying I'm not going to hold my coins anymore, but uh, I don't know. I've, I've lost a lot of money in it, and I'm not worried about it. I, like, I didn't put that money in there expecting to not lose it, Like, and you should do the same. If you're going to put money into crypto, expect that you're going to lose every single penny of that because it can't happen. I'm not, I'm not upset. I'm not mad at myself. It was a learning experience, and... I can still get that money back. I'm not worried about it at all. I know I'm going to get that money back. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more cryptocurrency videos like this. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys next. And maybe I'll do my next video talking about uh, how I could have been super rich in Bitcoin if I would have bought it back in 2013 like I was going to. Maybe I'll do a video about that because I found some old tweets uh, that I was looking through. And I was talking about buying Bitcoin back then and I didn't. All right. I've rambled on. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.